What is going on guys? Jason Burke here, Styles Clash for Life, coming at you on YouTube and today I've got some football focus. I've been doing a ton of Pittsburgh Steelers free agency coverage, all the free agents, all the trades, all the guys we've gained and lost over the past several weeks and I've started a bunch of draft coverage. I've got a video on this channel already that talked about the positions Pittsburgh should look at in the draft. Coming up in the next three weeks as the draft approaches, I'm going to be doing my mock draft videos where I do three different mock drafts in one video, prioritize from my favorite dream draft all the way up to less favorite dream drafts. <clears throat> and I also want to talk about some videos that I did last year. I, I did a series last year where I did the Pittsburgh, should Pittsburgh draft this player? I talked about, based on all the mock drafts and all the media hype and all the conjecture, I picked out a few people that Pittsburgh may potentially draft, people that could actually be there at 20. Not talking trade-ups, not talking trade-backs, talking about guys that could genuinely be there at number 20 in our first-round pick, and profiled a few guys that could be good first-round pick for us and asked the question, should we draft this guy or should we not? Now, if you've watched my channel for any length of time this offseason, you know who I want to draft in the first round. You know what position I, I prioritize the most this year. You know what player I think is the best fit for us. That's obvious. To those of you guys that don't know, stay tuned. You'll, you'll be hearing this guy's name a lot. But there are a handful of other guys who I would also consider, if God forbid that player goes or if we have a different strategy, there are a few guys that really do intrigue me. And a couple other guys the media says are, are should be our first round pick that should not. So I'm going to profile one of the guys that I would love to get in a dream draft where I'm collecting my favorite kind of prospects and seeing what some different guys can do and how they can fit on this team. There are a handful of guys who I would love to have as a first round pick. Now, again, I don't value this position quite as much as my favorite potential first round pick, but I do value this position a lot and this guy a lot. I'm talking about the Iowa Buckeye, Cooper DeGene. Now, I love this guy. He is my favorite corner in this entire draft. We've got a pretty corner-heavy draft this year where there's like four rounds full of really good, solid, quality starting corners, guys who can make an impact in their rookie year, guys who can be long-term future starters. Pittsburgh does need another corner. If you look at their current draft list, JPJ from last year wound up being a standout one-on-one -on -one physical man corner. He was great last year. He's our clear number one guy. With all the guys we've lost, though, we only really brought in Dante Jackson in the Deontay Johnson trade, who can be a number two or a number three. He can kind of play outside or inside. I think he's better suited to be the inside slot corner, personally, but he's another starter, right? He's another guy along with JPJ. JPJ and Dante Jackson, one way or another, are going to be immediately in the rotation. Other than that, you've got a couple unknowns. You've got Corey Trice, who was drafted in the seventh round last year, who I had like a second or third round grade on, who could wind up being a starter, had a good camp last year, but he got hurt before he got to play in any games and was out for the entire season. So here's a guy who's essentially a rookie again, who's never played an NFL game yet, coming off of a season-ending tear last year, so coming off an injury. So that's a big question mark. Another guy is Darius Rush, a young corner that I like a lot, who I see a lot of upside in, but he is a bit undersized, and we have not seen him succeed consistently as a starting NFL corner yet. So another unknown. Two young guys to pair with JPJ who could be good in the future, but right now we don't know. We need another person we believe can come in on day one and be an instant impact player. Cooper DeGene, in my opinion, is that guy. Cooper DeGene, if we get a chance to get any corners, there are a couple who I think are first round worthy. You know, Kool-Aid McKinstry is one. Nate Wiggins especially is one. Uh, there's a couple other guys. Ennis Rakestraw I like a lot. is like a second round corner, kind of borderline guy. There's a bunch of guys who are loved. Quinn, uh, Quinn and, uh, Mitchell is another one people like, who I see a lot of raw upside in. But Cooper DeGene is my favorite. <laughs> he played three years. Uh, for the Iowa um, Hawkeyes, I think I said Buckeyes earlier, Iowa Hawkeyes, um, played in 2021, but mostly played consistently in 22 and 23. And of those last two years, <clears throat> in 22 and 23, here are Cooper DeGene's stats. 116 total tackles, seven interceptions, three of those returned for touchdowns, and 13 pass deflections. This guy has got a lot of good physical attributes. Um, he is a guy who is a really good kind of center fielder, can play safety in that regard, really is good at locating the ball downfield, has a really good uh, eye for finding the ball in the air, and 
catching the ball. The guy kind of plays like a wide receiver. Not only is he able to catch a lot of things, but when he catches the ball, he is dangerous in space. This guy can return things. He took uh, three of his seven picks in his career back for touchdowns uh, and also broke several tackles on other ones. The guy is really good in the open field. The guy, when he gets space, not only can he create turnovers and catch the ball and complete the turnover, but he can make guys miss, break tackles, and get into the open field and create you know, either a touchdown for your defense or at the very least, very good field position off long returns. The guy is dangerous with his feet. He's got a lot of speed for a corner. I like this guy a lot. Another reason for that is he's a punt returner as well. He can play special teams. The guy had uh, returned like three or four punts uh, for, for long plays last year. The guy is, again, dangerous in space, good with his feet. He can set you up in plus territory on special teams, and he's not afraid to tackle and be the gunner on the other side, on the defensive side of special teams. So the guy's a special teamer uh, on defense. He's a returner on special teams on offense, and he can be a corner who, you know, I could see him play in the slot because of how fast he is and, and how, how much he's not afraid to hit guys. But I think he's more suited to be outside. But I think he could play either. If you find Dante Jackson is better on the outside, I think DeGene could be your slot corner. I think he could blitz and come off the edge a little bit and be your slot guy. But I think if you if you want to put DeGene outside and bump in uh, Jackson to the inside, I think you're, you're pretty well set with that as well. Uh, again, Pass deflections, he's got 13. He's getting his hands on the ball. He's not afraid to dive at guys and separate man from ball in terms of hitting guys hard when he trails plays and also getting his body in between the player and the ball. A lot of deflections. The guy's physical. Not only is he a good center fielder, but he's a physical guy in terms of he will tackle, he will diagnose plays like screen plays and quick slants. He diagnoses there and, and gets like a missile, gets in between the guy very quickly. Also is not afraid to come up and play in the run game, tackling and hitting guys like JPJ. He's not afraid to do that at all either. Um, so, and they, so the guy is good for the run game. He's good for the occasional blitz. He's really good in terms of coverage, creating turnovers, and getting you good field position. Overall, I like this guy because, again, he can play special teams, he can return, he can play slot, he can play outside. I think Cooper DeGene is the most well-rounded and one of the most physically gifted as well um, corners in this entire draft. Now, again, would I draft this guy in the first round? He's not the number one guy um, I think we need to get. We have one position we need to fill, and again, stay tuned in the future for that video. But also, we have another position on the offensive line that really could use field as well. So there are two spots, I think, that need a starter more than corner. That being said, we only have two corners that are proven NFL starters right now. The other two guys are good. I especially like Trice, but we have not seen him play in the NFL yet. Rush and Trice have high ceilings and lots of possibilities, but are not proven yet. Of course, DeGene hasn't yet either, but I think he has the tools to come in and start on day one if he needed to. So I would say this guy might be our you know, third biggest hole to fill. Corner is our third biggest spot we need to fill, but we do need a corner. And if we get a chance to get Cooper DeGene or even to trade back in the first round, not that I'm getting into trades now, but if we could trade back in the first round from 20th to like 23rd or 24th and get an extra like second round pick, I don't know that he'll be there in the second round. I see DeGene being a first round guy, but man, he would be a fun luxury pick to have as compared to other stuff we need filled. So what I draft DeGene, yes, uh, he is the best in a class of good corners in a place we need filled, but we do need other things filled first. So he's not my first choice, or maybe even my second, but third, I think so. I like this guy. What do you think of Cooper DeGene? What do you think of our necessity at corner? Is corner our third biggest need in this draft? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. You tell me in the comments down below. Would you draft DeGene if he was there? And who would you prioritize over DeGene in terms of other positions and at corner? Is he the best corner in this draft or not? Tell me in the comments down below. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like these positional draft deep dives because I want to do some more of these. So if you guys like and respond to this, I'll do more of these uh, should Pittsburgh draft videos and we'll talk about it. I'll see you guys soon. Go Steelers.